So, what we going to talk about right now, what we going to talk about right now, we going to talk about Doom. This is very important right now. Doom NVIDIA DLSS performance and AMD FSR making strides. This is what we're going to talk about right now. So the first thing I want to break down is this. A lot of people don't still don't understand the concept of deep learning super sampling, right? So let me break it down for you, right? Especially on PC or anything. When you're playing games, you have anti-aliasing. And it costs a lot. It costs a lot to use. So now with deep learning super sampling, you can use that at an internal resolution like 1080p or something and achieve 4K level of image quality. Even if you're rendering at a resolution of 1080p, which means that if you run in a graphics card like the RTX 2080 Ti, or if you're running a graphics card like an AMD 6900 XT or something like that, 1080p, you're gonna get ridiculous frame rates. But now you can take that same resolution and get 4K image quality. But here's what I want to talk about in terms of Doom in particular. So, when I first played Wolfenstein, the Young Bloods with the two girls, when I played that game, right, I tried out DLSS on it. And I was blown away by the fact that the native 4K image, listen to me clearly with what I'm about to say right now, okay? The native 4K image quality, right? It looks amazing. But if I was to tell you that 1080p, 1080p could look better than a native 4K image, would you believe me? Now, I said this before. This ain't, about, this ain't like me. This ain't nothing new. I said this before. But I can say it again even more confidently and more dominantly that real talk yo i was playing doom with ray tracing ray tracing i'm playing doom on pc with ray tracing on right now i turned the the dlss off just so i could see the 4k image in its natural state right with ray tracing on now i have a rtx 2080 ti chip right now so i'm playing the game and I'm playing the game, you still get a little bit of stutters with ray tracing on. When I turn ray tracing off, everything is smooth like butter, right? But not with ray tracing, even with a card like that. So I per, I put DLSS on quality mode. Now let me break that down for a second. You got quality, you got balance, and you got performance. If you're playing in a performance mode, then it's rendering internally at 1080p. If you're playing on balance, then it's rendering at 1440p. If you play on quality, it's rendering at 1800p, I believe. Long story short, I put this joint on quality with ray tracing on, and the game looked better than the native 4K image, and I still got my ray tracing with no slowdown or nothing. The frame rate was solid, smooth, beautiful. Yo, it was unbelievable, son. Unbelievable. If you play Doom with ray tracing and DLSS on quality mode, it will look better than your native 4K image. And you can see it like it just pops more. It's unbelievable, son. Unbelievable. That a game that's rendering at like 1800p looks better than 4K native. 1800p looks better than 4k native when you use dlss this is unbelievable yo unbelievable any questions that y'all got i'll answer them but let me get it in let me go on you know what i'm saying it's unbelievable yo facts now i'm gonna tell you something else because i said that amd they have the fsr which is their fidelity super resolution right and that's making strides now, anybody that remembers when DLSS 1.0 came out, it looked like you took a big glob of Vaseline grease and smudged it on your screen. 
like performance wise, it was great, but quality wise, image quality wise, it wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. It was bad. When DLSS 2.0 came out, that's when everything got shut down. And now DLSS 2.2 is here and it's done through AI machine learning, right? Now, AMD with their Fidelity Super Resolution, out the gate, it already looks better than what DLSS 1.0 did. Now, this right here is crazy because one, it's easier to implement. That's one. And because it's easier to implement, more people's going to use it. Two, like, you can utilize it two generations back. That's how far back the technology goes. So you could, you could utilize it on old machines and get more out of them now. So that right there is a game changer. Three, you can use it on NVIDIA. So even as a competitor, they helping out their competitors. You can utilize this technology even on your NVIDIA chips, which is crazy. And if you've seen the video regarding Square Enix and Forspoken, they already said that they look in the big, the most realistic looking open world game ever made utilizing FSR. And there's more updates to FSR that's coming out this year. So what you see right now is going to be even better than that. And right now, currently, it's already said that it's indistinguishable between the native 4K image and the ultra quality image that you get from FSR right now when they tested it out on Godfall and other games. So I'm telling you right now, NVIDIA or AMD, whoever is the first company, if this is even possible, but whoever becomes the first company to make it so that this doesn't have to be implemented on a game by game basis, but it could just be a general setting that you turn on and it works for every game by default. Whoever do that first and achieve that first and they do it right, it's over. This is the next generation of everybody being able to be involved in gaming at a high level, but at a better course entry to break that course barrier of entry. It's amazing. But I just wanted to tell y'all, in my personal experience playing Doom, this game looks better than the native 4K image that you play it at, and you get more performance out of it, and 1800p looks better than 4K native. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. So look, y'all, get hyped, get excited. I wanted to share that news with y'all. If, if y'all got any questions about it, drop the questions right now so I can answer some of them before we wrap up and get into a final match of Call of Duty. Hip-hop gamer. Logitech.